my sweet hubby got me this for my birthday. It's a record player. But what else does it do, Jeff? It's also it, uh, CD. It you can record your records onto a yeah. USB drive. It's uh, MP3 compatible. It also plays CDs yeah. and you can listen to the radio. And, ra and radio. And it has a remote control too somewhere. Here's a better shot of it. Now you can see it with the, the light on. We have all the lights down because we got the candles going. We got all the, the ambiance because right now, it's almost Halloween month. It is October. So we've got all of our pumpkins out. Sure got the puppies too. And our candles. And the puppies. And the, and the pup pups. Oh, ooh, her eyes are scary. Yes. So we're gonna play some records tonight and see what happens. So when Jeff and I moved into this house, I got to take a bunch of my stuff out of storage. And I haven't seen some of these things in probably 20 years. These are my old, old Disney records. These my parents gave me when I was a little girl. We won't talk about how long that been. So we're gonna actually listen to some of these. So what do you wanna listen to first? Um, well, if I'm a Disney, a classic Disney guy, and I am. Yes, you are. Let's go with something everyone knows, the Haunted Mansion. Or no, no, let's do the Main Street Electrical Parade. Ooh, Main Street. That's nice and vintage. They no longer do the Main Street Electrical look, Parade. Look, you guys, it's like a really, really <laughs> old record. I've had this since I was a child. Like, <laughs> the paper's been worn off here. A few scratches on it too, I have to say. This is not a perfect record, so this might be scary. So, here it goes. It's got a little bit of oh, poor Cora. <laughs> poor Elsa. Oh, she hurt. Oh, yeah. That's the That's the Main Street Electric Bridge. I love this. Awesome. It's like the old high mansion stuff. I remember looking at this as a kid going, I wonder what that's like, because I hadn't been yet. Oh yeah, you didn't get to, you, so you uh, had this before you went to Disneyland? Uh, yeah, we went to Disneyland when I was 13, and it was only for a day, and it wasn't very long. Disney World, I was five, I don't remember. But how were you guys when you first went to Disneyland or World? Kind of curious what everybody's age was. I was four or five. I was pretty young. That was Disneyland though, right? Yeah. First time in Disney World, I was too young to remember. I was maybe nine or ten. My dad's favorite was always the Country Bear Jamboree. That's why he needs to go back to Disney World because they still have it. They don't have it at Disneyland, but they didn't no, have it at Disney sadly. World. No, sadly. Get on the circular one, the Rapids ride. That's California Adventure. Is it? That's that, 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 that's Grizzly Rapid. Well, Grizzly Bear. Yeah, but that that is California. Okay, Adventure. that's why I thought it was Bear Country. I guess. Next time I'm gonna get her to go on it too. I don't care how wet you get. It's not about getting wet. Well, that day it was because I was wearing jean shorts. Jean shorts are not fun to be wet in because they chafe, they hurt. It's California, so. you dry off in 10 minutes. <laughs> not in jean shorts, you don't. That's it. <laughs> Whoa, that's bright. I know. Oh, damn. I'm scared. The Requiem Bell, Jeff's favorite line. I don't know why I like that line so much. When you hear the knell no, of a Requiem Bell. Cool. No one wants to hear the Tiki Room. I love the Tiki Room! I do. And the Tiki 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 That's not the bad part. Hello, hello all my friends. Welcome to the show. Everybody applause, everybody now. It's funny because he's a muckle. Because I'm a bird. <laughs> I like the Tiki Room. Tiki Room is fun. <laughs> Look, I'm even wearing skulls and crossbones. Look at this. Yep, we're, we're, we're appropriate we're today. I got this tattoo because 
it reminded me of Disneyland. I wanted to have a tattoo that reminded me of being happy, of being in a happy place. Funny story about this tattoo. Oh yeah. You can see how it said, dead men tell no tales. Well, the girl wrote, dead tales tell Bail. no tales. And she Bail. had to go back and edit it. But it was a tattoo that I didn't have to pay for. <laughs> This is back when I was in the army, so it wasn't that big of a deal, but still. Oh, you were still in the army at the time? Yeah, this is my first tattoo. That right? was your first tattoo this is ever? my first tattoo ever. Because it reminds me of the part of the ride when you're going through and the dead skulls. Man. Dead man, del no dial. We have to do when you wish upon a star. But you cry. I can hold it in. Okay. I cry too. <laughs> oh man, this gets me every time. Listen to that crackle. I love the sound of records. Oh, his voice is so beautiful. He's got that voice that sounds like it's just floating, you know what I mean? Like a, if someone's voice was cloud-like. It's a nice lilt to it. Wow! Not right now, I'm sick, I can't do it. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. That's my favorite, he goes, a star. Hold on. And they call it well enough yeah. Not how bad it sounds. <laughs> Makes me laugh. And we call it well See, that's beautiful. That's Phil Harris. Phil, Phil Harris? That's Phil Harris. I love his voice. It's like deep bassy. Yeah, he's got that deep bassy voice. Just for me. When you look under the rocks and plants and take a glance at the fancy and for me. I can't believe you're, you know, know this inside and out. Come to me! Here's the name. What's what? What's fortuosity? Fortuosity, that's my byword. Fortuosity. Walt Disney's merriest songs? This one's really cute. I like the, the album cover of this one. Like everybody's on there. A little tiger, a little poo. Ha, there's a little poo on here. <laughs> you said little poo. I want to be like you's on there too. Hoppa doo ba doo, want to walk like you. Cinderella, Cinderella. I love it. Listen to it really carefully. It crackles. That's old. Mm, it sounds like bacon frying. <laughs> Love it. It's like really cringy, like kids' Bob Disney songs. Um, they might be. What this looks Come like. Come on, guys, let's really sing it. <laughs> I'm already concerned. <laughs> She's flash dancing. <laughs> Go, Minnie. Go, Minnie. <laughs> Minnie's got a crush on you. I remember this! This is Digital Duck. <laughs> that's the, that's Chippendale. Chippendale! I'll be your candle on the water. Is this the music too? Yeah! That's the turn the page sound! I love you too. I swear I saw a dragon. Oh, what are we to do? All the windows and get down on the floor. We're going to move off of Disney and we're going to do Sesame Street.
deeper. This one that I've never heard oh before. Oh my gosh, the 1970s. Wow. <laughs> Look, it's Grover. That's it. C is for cookie and rubber ducky have to happen. Doing the pigeon. Doing the pigeon. But you're the cookie monster. You always feel like eating cookies. It's my beautiful wife. There it is. I got Jana a last minute birthday present, the last, when she turned 20. Feet. 20 and I got her uh, two. Disney's Christmas favorites. This thing is in pristine condition. It's beautiful, not a scratch, it is. not a thing on it. I love this. Like a light bulb. Oh, this is it, this is original. Oh my gosh, I haven't heard this since I was a kid. This is good. <laughs> My sentimental husband. Mm. Having childhood feels? Yeah, big time. <laughs> That's why Splash Dance made me smile. You were cringing and I'm like, oh. oh. that was horrible. It's not, it's That's like those commercials. Introducing Disney's Kids Bop. There's a bunch of kids who can't dance that their parents got them auditions or it's like, Uh -huh. Ew, he's stuck in my mouth. <laughs> Good thing I washed yeah. my fingers. I don't know where that's been. So our next one is the Jazz Disney. This is album two. Apparently there's a couple more of these. My friend Kayleen gave me this one. This is something I would listen to like, oh, this would be great dinner music. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Why is it French? <laughs> I do not know, <laughs> but I like it. No flyer. Flyer. Why is it French? Madabado. Flat. Flyer. Slow. You want to see what it sounds like when we speed it up? Let's do that. Okay, 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 wow. okay, okay. I was singing the little monkey last night. This is Steamboat Willie. I like this. Sounds like something you'd hear on Main Street. It's like when you walk into Disney. This is on uh, Main, Main Street. Street music. Absolutely. Oh yeah. I like his voice. Michael Bublé. This is France. Wow, that's good. Flowers entertaining. You can kiss my. Dare you even put that word in my head and ruin it for me? Just <laughs> run Disney. You're a bad, bad man. Bad man. Wow. You're fired. Yeah. Fired. Good old days, my God. 
Skills. Skills. Sounds like the lady who goes, I'm tired. I, think, I am tired. I am tired of playing the game. What's that from? Blazing Saddles. Yeah, that's right. I like this one a lot. And I like Steamboat really. So today we're going to try Burnt Cactus Pear. No. It's called a Sour Sop. S O U R, like sour. And then Sop, S O P. Sour Sop. Sour Sop is a member of the custard apple family. So named because of its creamy mouthfeel, which is akin to a banana or a coconut. You started that. I way. didn't do anything. Pulp is loaded with potassium, vitamin C, and dietary fiber. I just saw that it has like cancer fighting properties, which is kind of awesome. It's a botanical pesticide too. They gave us an actual smoothie recipe down here to look at. It's a tree. It's very Don't different. It's got really big seeds. Yeah, it says to get rid of those because they can be toxic. <laughs> it's got another name. The common name is guanabana. Guanab guanabana? Guan guanabana. Like a banana. Guanabana. 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 Look, it's like squishy. It's like sticky and, and, and squishy right here. Why am I scared? Okay. All right. <laughs> you know what? It's actually not bad. Mm -mm. It tastes like a mixture between gua like a guava and a banana. Oh, which makes sense when they called it guanabana. Gua gua guanabana. It's got a weird texture. Okay. But, ew, Jeff. I'm a texture guy. The texture is all, all wrong. It's all squishy. Thanks. I don't think it's that bad. It's just so squishy. Think of it like a banana. I don't like bananas. Oh. I kind of like it. Ah, I know. Grass <laughs> and dirt. <laughs> Dipped in sugar. All right, I'm still so. eating it because I'm trying to understand it. I have understood enough. It's like a sour banana. Almost. What is happening over here? What are you doing? <laughs> you weirdo. Oh my gosh! I'm getting worse. <laughs> I think it tastes like doo doo butter. <laughs> if you've eaten that before, I don't want to ever kiss you again. <laughs> I'm still eating it. I'm gonna try it again. The more I eat it, the more I like it. They have these at H-E-B, and I keep seeing them, I'm like, what are those things? I want to try one. The lady, the lady checking me out today, had no idea what it was. She had to look it up, and then she had to find the number, and then check me out, because she goes, I don't know what this is. So, consistency of a, of a banana, half the taste of banana, and half of, like, mango or guava. In all it's seriousness, I don't think it's that bad. It's just, I'm a big texture guy, and it has a really gooey, and it's squishy. <laughs> slimy. Squ squishy and slimy, that's exactly what you're getting. We thank you guys for joining us today, our crazy Friday night here at the Sultan Manor. Mm -hmm. And we hope to see you again soon. And remember, Sultan Stops, stops make, make the, the best adventures. adventures.